Hello everyone. In this video, let us uh, let us find out the value of the current I that is in this particular problem 1.19. Okay, so here instead of uh, simplifying this particular circuit, we will see uh, if we are able to find out the value of the current I in a simple method. So first, I will glance what is going here. This is 4 ampere, 1 ampere is given. So obviously, if I apply the KCL at this particular node, this is 4 ampere, this is 1 ampere. So the other thing will should satisfy this. So 4 ampere should, should be equal to 1 ampere plus the outgoing current. So I will be equal to 3 amperes. So this is the current okay so the next problem is to find out the value of v naught okay this voltage so i can find this v naught in two different methods one i can consider this particular loop okay here or i can apply the kvl to this particular loop so what i will do is first one to this i will apply so 30 30 then what happens minus 12 minus v naught equal to 0 so v naught should be equal to 18 volts okay if i apply to this particular thing so you can see these are the two elements which are in parallel that means you can replace this with a single element which has 28 volts okay across it and here it is minus plus which is a dependent one okay this is the dependent source 5 into i naught i naught value is already given here 2 ampere so this is 10 volts and here you have plus minus v naught okay so now if i apply the kvl to this v naught minus 28 plus 10 equal to 0 so v naught will be equal to 18 volts so v naught is 18 volts